Hey gang, Power Bricks back with another LEGO Megas review, and today I will be reviewing Tori O. And this set is made up of three birds. We have Phoenix, Ostrich, and Falcon. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with Phoenix, which is a giant Phoenix bird. Um, I think he came out really well. He's still based off of that um, tank and nice dragon thing which is it's a pretty cool thing because you can do so much with that one piece and just create various things and this came out really well um i just like how the entire thing came out uh articulation wise he has a lot in his legs i'm pretty sure if you've seen my past reviews for this for this um mold then you know how the articulation works i mean pretty basic and then wings they really for this mode you wouldn't expect them to move and his head is also articulated to move in different points so you can give him kind of a rotation um you can stand it straight just getting a quick look at his face there it is okay and i'm um, just going around to his backside. You have this giant wings. It's odd wingspan of um, six wings that I chose to do, which was very odd, but it was still cool, you know? So that's pretty much it for him. And we're going to move on to Ostrich. And Ostrich is piloted by a female this time. So a light blue color scheme to go off of. And I think Ostrich came out really well, too. Um, her articulation is on a ball joint. So you can do a lot with it. You can flip these out if you may. Um, you can bend these all the way. Straighten them out. Get some, you know, interesting poses out of it. Let's see if I can uh, make, like, some eating pose. Something, I don't know. Something like that. Um, but all in all, this is a really nice, um, Ostrich and just looking at the head. Simple. It's articulated on the ball joint. And that's about it for her. So we can move on to the next. Next up is Falcon, which is the big guy out of the set. Um, they're all pretty big, but nonetheless, he's just a little more bigger, especially wingspan. So, um, Falcon is really nice, um, articulation-wise. His wings can move up and down. His head is articulated up and down, and it can rotate side to side. His feet are also articulated. So are the, um, talons, these odd-shaped talons that I made. But, um, that's, transfer that's for transformation only. And his tail is articulated. But you can put him in a pretty neat pose if you just um, fold his talons. Um, and I get forward. Yeah. Fold him forward, then you can get a um, pretty, you know, interesting position. He has this giant brick on his back, which is used later on in transformation, but um, it has its purpose. I'm just getting a look at his face. Pretty good. All right, so we can start off with transformation. So I'm um, coming all the way back to Phoenix. It's actually kind of complex for these guys. Well, mainly him. So we're gonna just rip this piece off and we're gonna open up this hatch and make sure this is straightened out to a degree and then close that in. Get his legs and I think that's the wrong direction and fold them all the way up like that and just keep them keep these facing backwards whoa ah yeah and repeat the same process for this side and then we're gonna get the entire wingspan and open it up and then collapse it together like so pull out these flames Get the legs and bring them around. 
and then have these two pegs match up with those two holes for security. Okay, and then put those down to form the arms. Get this piece and attach it there. These can sit to the side, get the tail, bring it up, and there is your upper torso of the Zord. So we can sit that to the side. Next up is Emu, I mean huh, Ostrich. And for Ostrich, you just fold up the legs like so. And then put that up. We'll leave this out. And there's that. And now we can connect these two. And you just want to have them lined up pretty nice where they fit like that. And then just sandwich the two together. Once you've got the lining all correct. Put that on that. Then sandwich it together. And it has a pretty firm grip onto it. And you can get the bird head. Get the bird head and simply just collapse it like that. Get it even. And then moving that back to the side, coming to Falcon, what we're going to do is fold this back, lift the head up, put down the wings, um, put these back down afterwards, and then fold that in. I can stay up and then detach these bricks. You do it without it taking off the entire leg. Ah! I'll get rid of these bricks right there. There we go. One of the legs fell off by accident. So just going simply plug that right back in. And then we're going to line these bricks up there to form a thicker leg. And we'll keep that down. Then we come back here. And we do the same thing with lining it up. Except for this is a little more complex when it comes to doing that. And flip that up. Okay, I'm gonna use the camera. Add in the torches, fast blades. And here is Tori King. Completed. Yeah, he reminds me of Juo King. I mean, Tori O. He reminds me of Juo King, whatever his name was. I forgot. From Georgia, the main mecha. Um, this was that's what he was actually based off of. Um, yeah, there he is. Uh, articulation wise, it's just simple 360 arm rotation and just do that. Pretty much it for him. Um, legs can flip out. I guess they, they can do that. But other than that, he's pretty much simple. There's not really much to cover over him. Besides the fact that um, he's complete. But yeah, um, that's it for this review. If you want to see more and see these guys before they're posted up for the review, follow me at Power Bricks Picks on Instagram and you can check all that out. And this is Power Bricks signing out.